just going to do a little background video. This week's challenge photo wise on the forum I'm on is a pair, as in a pair of things. I was going to do the two faces in Bedford Town Centre near where I live, but instead I've taken a pair of my dogs out for a walk and they're being their usual mad self. So this is, it's absolutely freezing out here. Uh, Bedford today I think is supposed to be about minus two, minus one, and it um, feels like minus four apparently. Feels a lot colder than that to me. But uh, let's go. So I think this is where I'm going to try and get the dogs to sit here for me in pose and uh, get a couple of shots and then choose my best one. Again I'm doing it for red only, black and white. Um, so ideally I want a low shot to try and get some of that beautiful cloud in. It'll be very different in uh, black and white and then for red that blue will go black. So it'll be quite an interesting effect. So as you can see, I've got a Panasonic Lumix G3 body, already converted black and white, infrared. Picked this up for about £100 on eBay. It's about 8 or 10 years old, I think, this camera. A uh, very cheap way to get into infrared photography. I went for the Panasonic uh, because I've already got Olympus Micro Four Thirds, so I could use it with a couple of lenses I've already got. So again, a cheaper way. You don't need a filter with this different forms of infrared you do. I like that it's got the flippy screen and angle screen, which my EM1 Mark I does not have. It's only got a tilt screen, which is fine. I prefer my Olympus personally. I like the menu system better. Um, but as I say, it's a very cheap way to do it. If a cheap Olympus comes up already converted, then I'll, I'll keep an eye out for one. I might get one. Uh, at the moment, I'm just exploring. So at the moment I've got the 17mm Prime f1.8 on here, Olympus, um, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to just see how that goes on here. I'm going to just have a little look and see what I can see handheld first. So, just shot a couple of handheld shots quickly, just to see um, how that sky is going to look and give me some idea. Um, and I, it looks great. I'm very happy with that. So, this is where I think I'm going to try and get a leading line of these bushes, that tree, and mostly sky. So, this will be portrait orientation of the dogs, I'm hoping, at the bottom to meet my sort of challenge of pair, a pair of things. Um, but my god it's cold so I'm gonna get on with this 